All right, you are balancing on two candles right now. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amanda Jewell. Make sure to subscribe down below because I am bringing you videos on how to start and grow your YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure to watch how to make a YouTube channel in 2020 down below. I also have a blog post going up with the videos that I'm posting about YouTube. So if you want to find all the information and products all in one place, make sure to just click the links down below. I also made a blog post about how to grow your YouTube channel in 2020. If this wasn't enough blog promotion, I don't know what is. Okay, bye. The best ways to grow your channel in 2020 is going to start out with consistency. Basically, the YouTube algorithm favors creators that are constantly using the platform. So the more that you are posting consistently, either on a specific day a week, posting every day a week, or especially if you're posting at a certain time on a certain day. So I make sure to upload at least on Sundays at noon every single week which this just gives me a better chance of YouTube boosting my videos and next it tells your subscribers when you will be back with new content so people can come and they know they're gonna get a video from you on Sunday at 12 regardless it also tells people that if they subscribe to you they can rely on new content because in our generation a lot of us are actual consumers we like to consume media we like to consume entertainment we like to consume YouTube videos <laughs> so People want to know that they can come to you. And this will help you to pick up your videos and suggest them on people's home pages, in the search, and overall it will increase your views and your watch time. Make sure you have your keywords in the title and in your description. Keywords are the words that people are actually searching. So basically, YouTube is a keyword. How to are keywords. Start a YouTube channel. Those phrases are what people are searching. So if you're making content about searchable topics, then your content is more likely to be seen and consumed. With this being in the description as well, you want to create a transcript or a copy about your YouTube video in the description. This will help you to pick up the words and again, show your videos when people are searching vlogs, day in my life, the University of Texas at Austin, Law of Attraction, how to start a YouTube video. <laughs> there are a couple websites that you can use to help you with your keywords and your search. So the first is vidIQ. This is a service where you can go type in the title of your video, then you can see related keywords or related titles that you can keep in your description. You can use as hashtags or you can put in the tags of your YouTube video as well which are very important. When you're looking at vidIQ, you can also see the relevancy scores. You want searchable content and you wanna grow your YouTube channel, you're gonna to wanna to make content that people want or are looking for. The next is Google Trends. So you can type in how to start a YouTube channel and see how popular this trend is in Google right now, which will just tell you how many people are really searching for this topic. Or you can do law of attraction, manifestation. These are some topics that I've been talking about in my recent blogs. So definitely make sure to check out my blog. I just love my blog, okay? Next, you can use YouTube analytics. So I love looking at my analytics to compare my past months to my performance right now based on views, watch time, time duration, and it will help me get an idea of what kind of content people are coming to my channel for. A lot of videos on my channel that do well are about the University of Texas at Austin, sit down videos. Hopefully this YouTube series will also be popular and help a bunch of you guys start and grow your YouTube channel. While you're watching this, make sure to comment down below if you are a smaller YouTuber because another great way to grow your YouTube channel is to interact with other YouTubers. So if you are a smaller channel, interacting with other small channels will help you increase your engagement. Also, if people are commenting on your video, make sure to comment back to them, comment on their videos. So engagement is super, super important. A lot of YouTubers like myself, when you upload a video, watch your whole video through and give it a like. A like is a like, even if it's coming from you. I hope you like the own content that you're putting out. The initial interactions with your video when it's first posted are very crucial and can help your video really excel. Of course, you wanna talk about it cross platforms. So as I talked about in my first video, you must let go of the opinions of others and solely focus on your goal, which is to grow your YouTube channel. So you need to be 
advertising it or promoting it on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. Recently, I have also been doing some Pinterest ads. You, of course, can run ads for your channel, but... I wouldn't do that until you have a bit of content. For one of my last tips is to make bingeable content. And what I mean by this is have a bunch of related videos that kind of feed together. So like I just did a how to start a YouTube channel and now I'm doing a how to grow your YouTube channel and the videos that will come after this. The goal is that someone sits down and they want to learn a lot about a topic or watch a lot of content about one related topic and they will watch all of your videos back to back to back. That will really help you with gaining watch time, views, and thus growing your channel. So yeah, I gave you some of my tips, tricks, and secrets to how I grew my YouTube channel. And I really hope this was helpful. Make sure to click the links below. And of course, equipment I use, I always link down below as well. So if you're interested in getting a super versatile camera for vlogging and sit down videos like this, make sure to check out the Canon G7X. That is it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you started or are growing your YouTube channel. Bye.